Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day two. We're starting off with squad B for team with my boy Robert as volunteering as always, always trying to get back uh, just like me. Uh, Robert, how are we feeling? What did you see yesterday? And yeah, like, how's it going with you? Pretty good. Today's going to be a good day. It's going to be a long day. Teams all, they all, they all have to take their pictures this morning. Yeah, I don't know if we were being told to take a picture. No. Or, so oh, parents behind oh, us. oh, they're behind us. Oh, I was that important. Yeah. <laughs> that boy Topher, though. That boy Topher. He was striking. I knew he was going to be striking. That, um, I did call the cut number. I said 605 before a single ball was thrown. Cut was 605. You did call everything. That is a fact. Just educated. Educated. So per usual, they do the announcements, to introduce the team. So far, it's going great. It's going great. Yo, know, they, they kind of skipped over you guys. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what they were thinking. And the same the best for last, I think. I got facts, yeah, facts. Dude, Brian, where are you at, man? You're going to get your two seconds of footage.
So, just took this photo, it's probably on the BCAW um, with the entire Antigo community. Uh, Will, kind of explain what's the deal behind uh, the Warriors jerseys? So, behind these shirts, our head coach, Brian Matt Miller, his kid this last July just got diagnosed with leukemia. He's only two years old and 
didn't even know he had it until he went in for a checkup and like it just really hit us hard but he is recovering well and we're doing everything we can to kind of show support that no matter what he's still with us and we just had a huge fundraiser for him last last weekend chuckles for charity which is just a big comedian show and we raised over twenty five thousand. That's for awesome. Him. That's sweet. Yeah, it was it was awesome. And he is doing very well. He's actually he's not at the bowling alley right now, but he's in he's in Green Bay with us. Is he? That's yeah. sweet. Yeah, he's So he'll be on the show tomorrow when you guys make it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That that'd be awesome. It will be. Speaking of the show, and that's awesome, great story, love it. Um, photos sweet. Um, how did the, the boys do today? Uh, you know, they were very they were very up and down, but they they overcame a lot and they they took some bad games and completely erased them with some great games and I couldn't be more proud, especially of our anchor man Jack Stagger. Oh yeah. He, he struck great. out in over half of the 10 frames, or at least doubled in them, oh, and yeah. got very, got a lot of clutch strikes when he needed to. And Riley bowled great all day. Brady came up off the bench and did amazing. Grant, just solid all day. Our leadoff man, Alec, he did, he, he overcame a lot and he did, he did what a leadoff man should do and that was fill frames and come up clutch when he needed to. So, yeah. as of right now, we're, I think we're in, we're in first. I think so too. Jack, the Jack strike, which you just saw before this interview, that was, that was the strike that very much solidified first. Yeah. As of now, as there's one more squad after this. Yeah. So, so we're just gonna we're gonna go back to the hotel for a little bit and we're gonna we're gonna wait it out. Jack and Cooper and Brady are all qualified for the singles portion, yes, so we're gonna just go back and rest up and they're gonna they're gonna come back here regardless. Yes sir. Hopefully we don't have to bowl again after singles. <laughs> And that we're just bowling again tomorrow. Yeah, but. it's always the goal. It should be the goal. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Awesome, dude. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem.
Let's go! Yeah! Hey. Hey, what's up, therapist? Hey, well, you know, it's going great. Um, yeah, you're good. You know, you know, after minus 201 on 10 games and firing off 26 and 44, I think the kids are having fun. I haven't needed to do anything. It's great. You're living. Oh. I'm living my greatest You're life. You're living your, up to your name. Yeah, I'm living my greatest life. I don't have to tell them anything. They just get fun and get loud. It's great. Feeling good. Looking good. AW Blue. Can't beat him. Join him. Yeah, I like this better on you than the Actually, other blue. Actually, uh, Dan Patterson commented on my post last year. He said. Uh, Something about, uh, in the case of you can beat them, but you just, just, just join them anyways. <laughs> Shout out, Dan. Ah, Mr. Hendricks Meyer, okay. how are we feeling today? Oh, I'm just happy to be here. High school state, you know. You know pretty this, sure everybody thinks I'm not in high school anymore. This could be you, dude. I'm glad it's not. No offense to anybody, just not for me. Uh, just happy to be here. That's about all I got. Who do you think's gonna be the number one seed after? Topher, Chisinski. Or Shashane, no, hold on. Shashane. Shashane what, what about you, Mr. Vader? By a million. Who's going to lead? Who's going to lead? I think that's a simple question. I would say top five, but then you you have to think, look at a list. But I think number one, the number one, if Tolfer doesn't say himself, there's a problem. Tolfer, who do you think's going to lead? Oh, damn, that's, you think you think Black's going to lead? Money lead me last. Yeah, lead me yesterday. Are you gonna lead me? No. Okay, we didn't really get an answer. Grant, but, Grant uh, we from of our singles. You probably just missed it, but um. Okay. They're not doing the introductions for singles. I'm just gonna let Dick do the work. Singles, semifinals round of competition. My name is Dick Sergi. I'm the tournament director of this championship this year. On behalf of the Bowling Center Association of Wisconsin and all our member centers, I want to welcome you to the single semifinal round where we have 27 boys and 14 girls who have advanced to compete to determine our top five finalists for the state yes, championship singles finals tomorrow morning starting at 8.30 a.m. We want to thank all our proprietors, all our coaches and volunteers who have helped out to make this weekend special. Shout out to me. Parents and family members, thank you for supporting these students, athletes, and high school bowling. Bowlers, please take time to thank them. Thanks, Dad. Uh, for the bowlers, I see Bags should be in the past. So, playing the rest of the day, after you heard uh, Dick's announcements, they did announce the uh, top individuals they went on the approach conference tradition for high school state. Um, been doing it since I was a freshman, so you know, pretty long time, unfortunately. They're going to practice, and they, they just have about over two and a half minutes. And yeah, this is going to be good. It's a lot easier. I'm going to kind of do a little panel. So much easier, way less crowded. This is why I like four and a pair. Just makes my job easier. A little biased towards it. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, always probably the one of my favorite parts on the dance Saturday is this part. Um, gets the set letter rolling and creates the stories that are going to be told and finished because people want to finish their story. Yes, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The scores are going to be lower than tonight. They always are. Yep. Uh, lots of nerves, lots of pressure. It's good. Good luck. Good bowling. And as always, have fun. Low scores. Low scores. But keep in mind, spares don't matter. Or spares don't win championships. Build frames matter.
that concludes singles portion. We are going to do the awards. You gotta love this bowling line that just makes me look like a white ghost. We're going to do the singles awards. I uh, recognize also the 6th through 10th places for the boys and the 6th place for the girls. Top 5 for each uh, division, boys and girls. And who's going to make it on to Championship Sunday. So, here we go. Hold your little thought. We have a 5th place tie for the boys. I don't think this has ever happened, but we are. this is the the roll up there, 35, 36. Uh, Roger and Patrick are panicking. Not panicking, but they're figuring it out. We're waiting for uh, Joseph right now. Joseph Leonard and Dalton. Gentlemen, here. You have no practice. You have no practice. I'm gonna flip a coin. The person who wins a coin flip will pick their starting lane. They'll be bold just like match play on uh, PBA. One ball, one frame, two and two is on that. One game, one wins a game, it's here. You call. You call heads. Heads it is. Which lane you want to start on? Right lane. Okay, you'll bowl the first one and he'll finish the game first and finish the second. It's a one game roll off. PBA style. He will start the game with the first frame. Two balls. He will finish first. He'll finish on this lane. Good luck, gentlemen. We we'll got him. So if I leave a 3, 6, 9, 10, how do I shoot it? Don't go straight. Okay. Why are you asking me? We're getting these questions going into the, their biggest like moments of their careers, ladies and gentlemen. Um, <laughs> oh! 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 I'm do, do, do you do that on purpose? That's what, yeah, that's why he asked me that. Oh! I asked oh! Me. I didn't even, oh, I didn't even get the joke right away. Oh! Yeah. Hey. Well, I'm here with uh, Stammered Up Lester Carr Westcott going into the the team semifinals. Um, yeah, Carter, how, how's it going, dude? How's it going? Watch you stay in your hometown? It's fun. It's nice being close because then I can just come here and just hang out. Plus, I have nothing to do. So, walking around, watching all the high school bowlers achieve their dreams is fun to watch. Yeah. Definitely fun to watch. For sure, dude. 
BCAW is doing a great job at running this. Always do. Always do. Especially volunteers like this guy.